Okay, everyone, welcome to the third Atonivore video, uh, the focus of which will be this little clump of ugly here. Uh, the chip on the top is a MAX232 RS232 chip, which basically uses all those capacitors as a voltage pump to translate from RS232 voltages into the TTL our Arduino expects. The trunk cable you see coming off of here is soldered onto an RJ45 connector, which is suitable for connecting directly to an RS-232 serial port. The second chip we have here is your standard everyday 4017 decade counter, which basically whenever it's oscillator input, the orange wire coming off of the Arduino is triggered, it'll move up one. Now, if we follow its wire, it comes down to this board. Uh, this will be a little bit different in the future, but for now I'm using the decade counter and this unholy mess of diodes to work as kind of uh, a night Rider or Chaser or Cylon Eye. Uh, <clears throat> as usual, everything is powered by an Arduino Uno and draws its voltage directly from the truck's 9-volt battery. So, let's see if she works. So as you can see, our chaser is chasing properly, which means that the Arduino is correctly triggering the input for the 4017 chip. And over here, if you look at putty in serial mode, it's, well, singing Knight Rider over a 9600 baud serial connection. So there we go, folks. That's the first bit of custom circuitry for the Atonivore made. Now all we have to do is put down the soldering iron and get up to some arts and crafts time to throw it in. See you in a bit.